Women aren't after resources. That's wrong. They're after the factors that predict resources. So what we did was we showed women a bunch of pictures. It was this, say, say several pictures of the same guy. So there was several guys. And each guy was in four conditions. The photo of each guy was in four conditions. Same photo, right? One guy was poor and useless. One guy was rich and useless. One guy was rich and useful. And one guy was poor and useful. So the rich, useless guy had won a lottery. And it paid out like $4,000 a month for the rest of his life. So no matter how useless he was, he couldn't squander all of it. He had resources, right? The poor, useless guy, well, we don't even have to define that. Everybody understands that. The rich, useful guy, well, that's easy to understand. The poor, useful guy worked for a non-governmental agency. It was a charity, you know, in a charitable organization. And so he had high occupational status, but low income, and that wasn't likely to change. So then we asked women to rate these men on a bunch of different attributes, including personality, but also on dateability, basically. And wealth had no main effect. The only effect was usefulness. So the poor, useful guy and the rich useful guy were more attractive to the women than the two useless guys regardless of their socioeconomic status. 